five important things that you should know when you started your career guys you know i have 14 years experience right these are the five important points i always wanted it i wish i knew before why i started right these are the mistakes that i have done it you don't have to make the same mistake right on this one let's discuss about this the first one is the power of networking and mentorship guys right? very very important point i want to give you a very simple example in 2012 i was a researcher i was getting bored in the manual testing world i thought okay i wanted to become an automation tester because automation testers have almost double the package around this right so i talked to my manager and i was discussing these things right how can i learn automation something i was not getting too much details on this right my manager also wanted ki okay this guy should be there uh, in the manual work only because he wanted to use me then one of my librarian which i met in the essential we have a library where you can read documents so in the librarian basically i had a discussion he became my friend i discussed with him i had a build a very good relationship with him he told me okay with there is one of my friend who is basically starting a new company and everywhere right there is a very good company there if you want to target it's a good product based company i said okay yes sure i have given the resume and because of that labirian i was able to switch to the one of the good product based company and after that you know i got selected in browser stack wingify and then again in the tech yarn so that's how so power of networking is very very important can you imagine i remember in last browser stack meeting that i have done one of the student came to me there are a lot of students you know who basically were there because i was delivering the session one of student came to me he told me ki pramod i am looking for a job do you have anything i said okay just uh, give me your resume okay drop me an email he dropped me i applied he is working as a in a tech yarn so you know power of networking is a very very important thing so build a relationship get a good mentor second important thing is mentors mentors are basically experts you need to talk to them because they have already faced the issues most of the time that you are going to face directly right so always have a mentors that will they will help you in your journey for example if a mentor can be related to your learning automation they can be helping you in communication they help help you in your projects multiple ways they can help you okay point number 2 stepping out of comfort zone don't get into the comfort zone this is very very important i know hundreds of manual testers hundreds of even developers who are in their comfort zone they are not ready to take new challenges they are not able to add their skills not able to change the job right they are too afraid to do it i know one of the person who is 14 years in a single company he is not ready the career is stagnated promotions are stagnated recognition i don't think he get it this is because of comfort zone so growth only happens whenever you take challenges please remember that and you have to become un- uncomfortable because of this volunteering for a task because i know that person right he never volunteer for a task you have to give the task to him that's the another thing that's the important thing if you are like this let me know in the chat are you the same one who is in comfort zone especially as a manual tester or something because i have a very bad news for you learn automation 2025 very very important don't be afraid to take a risk right which is very very important i told you also right third important point embrace the mistake and continuous learning guys this is very very important mistakes are inevitable whenever you get out of your comfort zone you will feel that okay yes uh, this is the task that i have taken probably i was not able to deliver i have made a mistake don't worry nothing will happen life goes on which is very good right stay curious always seek for new skills both technical and soft skills you need to improve your communication skills you need to improve your managerial skill you need to improve your technical skills right all these type of skills are important how you have a empathy how you have a behavior skills there are multiple hats i have worn i started with my uh, normal manual tester then then become a qa then become an automation tester then become a senior qa then become a qa lead qa manager senior qa manager then director of quality so you know right there how you need to basically add keep adding more and more skills which is very very important and continuous learning fourth important point the importance of work life balance guys this is very very important don't be like this a person i know many people who are like 7 pm they are on a call 10 pm they are call right why why because it will work life balance is something which is very very important you need to figure it out the companies i know i am also a victim of multiple companies where work life balance was very bad but trust me i have left those company very early because of burnout because i have set the boundaries because i want to enjoy my life also guys why you are earning if you are at a uh, in a call in 10 pm when you have a birthday of your wife then what's the point right work life balance should be there and you need to achieve it there are there are number of times when you have to sacrifice some of the things but that is okay because of project high demand or something 
but you should also get recognition that is another point for this right but again have a maintain your work life balance which is very very important fourth important point is your path is never fixed guys this is very very important thing that you need to remember i want you to watch this video by the uh, this guy beckinum which is very very important he told your career is never 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 it's going to be a never same it means not a path it's not a path it's actually a scavenger hunt like you are hunting for something good i remember one of my colleague who told me ki uh, your career will be like for example when i starting in essential right 2012 or something he told that okay you will be doing something which you have never expected and that's exactly what happened throughout my 14 years right after some time i was doing something i was a manual tester then i became a mobile then i learned about uh, performance then i had to have done some security then again i have done some manager work then i have done lead work architect work i was responsible for scaling selenium grids so multiple hats you need to do so multiple your career path is never fixed in this case okay so these are non linear things if there are things which you want to change definitely change it which is important but again keep on the track which is very very important that is also important this right so these are the five thing i wish i know do let me know guys which one do you think and do watch the video of this guy very very important that you need to understand if you are uh, stuck in your career you want to change something in your life right or related to careers and everything i hope these are the uh, career advice somebody has given me in when i wanted to start my career right so please please use all of them right uh, for my experience because i know life is very short to learn from your own mistake this is one of the quote by one of the tech uh, ceo j and i i do truly admire on this this is very very important thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video and we are starting a new batch of automation tester make sure if you want to learn if you want to take a 100 day challenge to become an automation tester do check it out link in the description thanks for watching and see you